previous uh, nine videos on basic mathematics all the elementary topics with good examples I discussed if you like please subscribe my channel and press the bell button so when I, whenever I am giving my topic eh, you will get notifications and you can enjoy my lessons give your comments in my comment box also this session is on linear equation and simple applications linear equation uh, in mathematics uh, linear equation is a equation that may be put in the form a x plus b equal to zero x is a variable here only one variable present so this is called one variable linear equation linear means it represents a straight line this equation represents a straight line a x plus b equal to zero now come to two variable linear form a x plus b y plus c equal to zero here x and y are the two variables or in general we used to write linear equation as a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 plus and so on plus a n x n plus b equal to 0 or in general we call it as algebraic equation with uh, degree 1 or called linear equation for example uh, my typical example is given here 10x plus 5 equal to 0 see the degree of the equation power 1 on x variable so we call it as linear equation 10x plus 5 equal to 0 good example another example with y variable 2y which is equal to 7 see the degree of this equation the highest power in this equation y is having only 1 so it is called as linear form 2y equal to 7 now come to the uh, problematic area in this topic discussion so how to solve how to solve uh, linear equations see the first example solve the question is solve 4 times of x minus 3 plus 6 which is equal to 14 plus 2x very simple elementary examples so first time opening the bracket uh, with the solution start 4 times x is 4x minus 4 times 3 is 12 plus 6 as it is I bring the right hand side terms 14 and positive 2x to the left side as negative 14 and negative 2x which is equal to 0. So now simplifying x terms like terms 4x minus 2x become 2x. Simplifying the constant term negative 12 positive 6 become negative 6. Negative 6 negative 40 become negative 20 which is equal to 0 on the right hand side. Now 2x equal I bring back negative 20 to the right side as positive 20, 2x equal to 20, x equal to 20 on 2, it becomes 10. So the value of x is 10. You can check your solution by substituting the value of 10 in the given equation. The equation gets satisfied. It is another way of checking the solutions, uh, whether that is right or wrong. Now come to the second example. See, it's an often and a challenging problem. Okay. Solve x upon 5 plus 3x minus 1 upon 2, which is equal to 6x plus 5 upon 4. The terms in these equations are rational expression form. So how to solve this type of equation? So there are three fraction term in this given equation. So left hand side we have 2, I am going to club this as single fraction by taking LCM. See the denominator term 5 and 2. So I can take LCM as 10 for 5 and 2. Now cross multiplying 2 times x plus 5 times 3x minus 1 which is equal to right hand side 6x plus 5 divided by 4. Now I am opening the bracket 2x. Uh, 5 times 3x is become 15x minus 5 times negative 1 become negative 5 divide by 10 which is equal to 6x plus 5 divided by 4 on the right side 
Now simplifying the x term to the left side, 15x plus 2x becomes 17x minus 5 whole divided by 10 which is equal to 6x plus 5 divided by 4 on the right hand side. Now cross multiplying uh, the terms 4 to the left and 10 to the right of the equations, 4 times 17x minus 5 which is equal to 10 times 6x plus 5. We open the bracket by multiplying 4 on the left side, it, be, it become 68 uh, minus 4 times 5 is negative 20 which is equal to 10 times 6x is 60x plus 10 times 5 is 50. Now bring back the x term on left side. 68 minus 60x which is equal to 50 I bring negative 20 to the right side it become positive 20. 68 minus 60x is 8x which is equal to 50 plus 20 is 70. So x become 70 upon 8. We can simplify by dividing by 2 on numerator as well as denominator it become 35 upon 4. So please uh, practice this type of problems many number of times with different numbers. Uh, this is a standard question in all part of examination. Coming to the application part of linear equations. A normal general questions are finding the numbers standard questions for our examination. I have two good examples for, for your point. Find three consecutive integers sum that does whose sum is 18 is the first example again I'm repeating the question find three consecutive integers such that the sum is 18 for example three consecutive number means 1 2 3 these are the three consecutive 10 11 12 100 101 102 so the numbers differs by 1 so I assume the three consecutive numbers as x x plus 1, x plus 2. These are my three consecutive integers. Now what is the sum of these three x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 which is equal to 18 that is given in the question. Now add the like terms x plus x plus x become 3x. Add the constant 1 plus 2 become 3 which is equal to 18. Now 3x equal to 18, I bring this positive 3 to the right side, it become negative 3. So 18 minus 3 become 15, 3x is 15, x equal to 15 upon 3 which is equal to 5. So hence the 3, x is 5, hence the 3 consecutive numbers are 5, 6, 7. So how we arrive? 5 plus 1, 6 is the next number, 5 plus 2, x plus 2 is the third number, 7. So like this like this format we have to find the three consecutive numbers. Now one more good question. Find four consecutive odd integers such that the sum of the first three exceeds the fourth one by two. Assume that four consecutive odd integers. Odd integers means uh, normally it uh, differ by two. For example three, five, seven. See that consecutive three odd integers it is deferred by two so i assume the four numbers as x first number x plus two deferred by two x plus four again deferred by two and x plus six is the fourth number now what is the sum of the first three x plus x plus two plus x plus four three which is equal to Fourth number is x plus 6 more exceed by 2. So I add 2 because it is given in the problem. Now add the left hand side like term x plus x plus x become 3x. 2 plus 4 constant term becomes 6 which is equal to x plus 6 plus 2, 8. Now I bring x term to left side it become negative x 3x minus x which is equal to 8. I bring this positive 6 to the right side it become negative 6. So 8 minus 6 is 2, so 3x minus x is 2x, 2x equal to 2, x equal to 2 upon 2, it becomes 1. Now what are the four consecutive numbers after getting x as 1? 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 plus 4 is 5, 1 plus 6 is 7, 1, 3, 5, 7 are the four consecutive odd integers. If you add the three, first three numbers, okay, so it is differ more than 
2 with the fourth number 7 plus 2 is 9 that is our solution so hope you enjoy uh, my linear equations and uh, simple applications uh, please uh, best wishes to everyone uh, like comment subscribe my channel for more thank you Thank you.